Hey everyone, it's LaDawn. Hope you're doing well. I'm coming at you today with video one in a really exciting series I'm going to do. Um, this is going to be a series of videos that will focus on products that will help um, uh, repel moisture from your hair. So if you deal with uh, if you, frizziness and you're tired of your hair frizzing up on you or you're tired of it puffing up on you, then you want to stay tuned to um, this particular video series because I am going to share some awesome products with you um, that work and products that don't work because I don't want you to waste your money, okay? So the first product is actually a holy grail product for me. I've never even mentioned it, I don't think, that I use this product because um, I really only use it on special occasions and I really had not tested it on curly hair because I had primarily used it on straight hair. So this particular series is great for straight haired girls and curly um, or textured hair girls. Um, meaning, you know, you like to wear your hair natural but straightened or you like to wear your hair natural and in braid out, twist outs or uh, wash and goes. All right, so this is the first product we're gonna talk about today. This is a holy grail product, Aveda Brilliant Anti-Humectant pomade. I love this product, okay? <laughs> For those of you who may not know what an anti-humectant is, um, an anti-humectant is a product that creates a moisture barrier between um, the moisture in the air and your hair. So it helps you to um, battle, you know, frizz. It helps to um, keep your hair from getting puffy. Um, it prevents your hair from absorbing the moisture that's in the air. So that is, um, in a nutshell, what an anti-humectant <laughs> does. Um, I have uh, been using this product for about 10 or 12 years. I was first introduced to it by, my, uh, by a hairstylist. Um, I have used other products in the Aveda Brilliant family, and um, this pomade is absolutely the bomb. Let me just put it up here again so you can see it. It's a Veda Brilliant Anti-Humectant Pomade. I'm going to pull back just a little bit so you can see what it looks like. It's a white container with a blue well, They top. say in terms of benefits, um, and their description of the product is, this is a satiny pomade, or this satiny pomade repels moisture from your hair, helping to prevent frizziness and flyaways. It tames curls to give hair a polished look. Um, it's excellent in humid weather, uh, work through hair before and or after styling. Its benefits are it repels moisture, prevents frizziness, and provides a satin finish. After blow drying your hair, this is um, how they say you should use it. So after blow drying your hair straight, finish with brilliant um, anti-humectant pomade. It will repair, uh, repel moisture prevent frizziness and maintain your style throughout the most humid day. Use on straight hair um, to resist uh, curling. And I think that what they're trying to say is, you know, once you straighten the hair, apply it and it'll help to keep from your, your natural curl from uh, repelling against the product or repelling due to the humidity. That's how I would use it. I would blow dry her hair and then I would put a little bit of the Brilliant on it. First of all, it smells really good. I'm going to move this up just so you can see the texture a little bit. Of course, it's almost gone. Um, but it, it looks kind of like Vic Sav in a way. <laughs> but you take it, you just take a dab, you put it in the palm of your hand, and then you rub it together. And then I would just rub it on each section. Okay, and just really using a little bit. You don't use a lot. Um, if you use too much, I really feel like it'll weigh down your hair and it'll make it look greasy. Once I finished flat ironing, ironing it, I would take a little bit more of the pomade and then just work it, put it on the ends of her hair just to keep, um, you know, the ends in check. So, um, and, and it worked really great, really great. She could maintain straight hair, I want to say, for... Um, several weeks actually and we would just apply a little bit more you know just to give her a little bit you know more protection each day but it was the bomb it kept her hair bone straight
This is a wash and go that is three days old now and I've not done anything new to it. I haven't even added more of this. I added this the first day and all I've done since then has been spray, you know, my um, my normal spray. I put that on and let it, you know, um, dry. It takes about five minutes to dry. And then, you know, I've shaken my hair, you know, maybe did some of this as usual, you know, kind of style it the way I want or get the shape I want and then go. Um, and so, and it has been humid ever, every day for the past three days. And this, these are the state of my curls. So as you can see, I've not lost any definition. The curls are still, you know, popped. Frizz, not really any. And my hair is lightweight. All right. So, um, you curly girls can use this. This is great. Um, again, I was out in the weather earlier today, still no puff. I didn't even worry about it. So this is a great pomade to use regardless of whether you weather your hair straight or whether you um, do braid outs, twist outs, or wear your natural curl. Okay. Um, one of the things I love about this product is that it's so lightweight. Like my hair, it still has a lot of movement. And sometimes, you know, when you use some pomades, because they can be rich in different types of oils, um, they'll weigh your, hair, weigh your hair down. This does not weigh your hair down. It smells nice. I can't place the smell. It's not a flower, but it's almost like a perfumey kind of smell. Um, so, you know, I guess you should smell it to see if it's a smell that like agrees with you. But it always, I think it has a um, very clean smell and it's not overpowering. Another thing I really like about this is it plays well with other products. You don't have to worry about flaking or anything like that. And also, if you use gel in your hair, you might consider mixing a little bit of this with your gel before putting well, it on your hair. I, I just love everything. It's like a holy grail product. It um, is fabulous. Now, the only reservation I have about this product is its price point. It's kind of expensive. Um, you can get it for between $20 and $22, I think. Um, so it is a bit expensive. But that said, this product has lasted me. I think I bought this really tr and honestly and truly some years ago probably honestly I can't even remember when I bought this, this product because when I said a little bit goes a long way I wasn't playing a little bit truly does go a long way um, and I um, I bought it in a um, hair studio a um, you know a salon so on the ground you can find it at most salons um, I think I even saw it in like Ulta, so you may find it in the hair section um, of Ulta um, or even Sephora. You, you can also buy it online at Aveda.com or um, I've also seen it on uh, Amazon.com. So the price point is a little bit more expensive, but when you look at using that across a number of years, it's really not very expensive at all. Other than that, I love this product. It is so a holy grail product. And now that I know I, you know, I can use it on my curls and have great curls regardless of the, look at that, I love it. Okay, and it's so soft, okay. But, um, you know, now that I know I can use it on my curls and not have to worry about you know, humidity causing my hair to puff up or losing the definition of my curls, I'm definitely going to be implementing this a little bit more often. Um, so I hope you found this video to be helpful. Um, you know, on a scale of 1 to 10, I give this product a 10, a 12, a 14. It, it truly is a bomb. Um, it's my absolute number one favorite anti-humectant. All right, so I hope this was helpful. Talk to you guys soon. Bye. Oh, and one final tip. For those of you who like to wear your hair flat, like maybe you're going to do um, a puff 
or you're going to do some type of ponytail or any style that requires you to flatten your hair. Now normally you would use a gel or you would use a pomade for that. This of course is a pomade but I wouldn't use it on its own. I would take this pomade, mix it with a little bit of gel and then use it on the parts of your hair you want to flatten. What it's going to do is it's going to mix with the gel um, and you know the gel will do what it does which is kind of flattening the hair you know allowing you to work with it and you know ma maintain that flattened look. What the, um, the Brilliant uh, will do is the anti-humectant um, part of this particular product will work with the gel and keep your hair from uh, reverting back. So when we use a pomade we use it to flatten and we don't want any curl in that area and so what this will do is again keep your hair in its flattened state um, you know or gelled back state um, and keep that curl from you know reverting back because sometimes we flatten our hair back and uh, you know to do a ponytail or whatever and then over the course of the day the hair starts pulling and then we see our curl kind of coming back and um, uh, you know coming through again so this will help um, to keep that from happening all right